Hello everyone, in today's video we will have a look at using custom animations for locomotion that can use the foot IK feature. Now I won't be focusing on using custom animations in general, just focusing on the foot IK feature. Now using your own character model is simply dragging that model in. The real challenge is not related to the character at all, but to the actual animator controller, specifically the animations themselves. So is our character floating above the ground? Why are his feet just going through the ground when we move up, for example? So I struggle with this myself. Luckily, with some help from the creator, I was able to find a solution. In order to do this, we will need Unity, Game Creator, and any custom idle animation you might have. So let's dive in. Now, everyone will most likely recognize this issue. Um, our character is floating above the ground, and when we try to walk up, his feet just, you know, go through the terrain instead of using foot IK. So, well-known issue for many when using custom animations. This is one of my uh, custom idle animations. And, you know, it's not working as it should. Now, first thing you need to do is locate your file. Now, I'm going to show this two ways. I'm going to show this with .nm files and .fbx files. Um, slightly different for both. Um, I'll start off with .nm files, so these are animations uh, I made myself. Now the offset is something you need to change. Now a .nm file is really straightforward, really simple, because it's just the simple animation clip, nothing else, no other data. Um, so really straightforward, this is the animation and often these things will be turned off. Now you need to make sure they're turned on if they're not and change these values. Now I'm gonna try this and we're gonna hit play. And he's no longer floating above the ground. Now he might be a bit in the ground even, maybe I exaggerate it, but looks about right, looks good. So that solves the floating with .nm files, really straightforward, really simple, once you know where to look. Um, please do not touch this one, um, Game Creator doesn't support root motion, so this is, it will just mess things up, so don't even try it. Now next up, um, we need to make sure his feet no longer, well basically that foot IK works. So just to show you, it is obviously turned on, um, but it doesn't work. Now, in order to change this, we need to make sure that our character is using um, that clip. So I simply duplicated locomotion, um, the default animator, and I replaced the idle clip with um, with one of my own. So you know that's the idle state I just showed you. Um, I replaced the you know the idle state with one of my own clips. Now. The important thing here to keep in mind is you can drag in your own character models, you know, simply drag them in. Fine, no problem there. There won't be any issues with that. I mean, you know, just dragging in a model is not really the problem. The problem is going to be the actual character animator. Now, those custom clips can have the floating issue like I showed you and foot IK not working. Now, what we need to do with .nm files is not the same as with .fbx files. So, going to open this up, and as you can see, um, add property, which we need to do, is unfortunately grayed out. Reason this is, is because we need to select an object that actually uses the animation before we can edit it. Now, because I added it here, it's visible and you will see this nice list. What we're going to do next, add property, IK foot, left foot, and IK right foot. And we're going to um, assign, go to curves by the way, just make sure you do it. And we're going to assign values of 1 to both. Um, let's select them. Now you will see that this is not completely straight. Um, that's because it's actually dropping from 1 to 
zero, which means that after an amount of time, his feet will go back through the ground. And we need to make sure they're both one. So if you'd zoom in, it would have looked, you know, completely different with a curve. Um, anyway, yeah, that's. I'm not really. I'm pretty sure I could show that. I'm not really sure. Anyway, it might look a w like a wave to you. Um, that has to do with the zoom, but you need to make sure that both the first and the last key are values of one. Now I added those. I'm going to um, press play, not press pause. <laughs> and we're gonna walk, and his feet work yay for that key is working and that's all you have to do for dot uh, nm files now dot fbx files are slightly different um, i don't actually use them at all so i went ahead and downloaded a free one uh, from a website uh, mixamo um, Looks a bit odd, you know, please don't pay attention to that. Uh, just wanted to show you how it worked. Um, there we go, so I'm going to drag that in. It's just called Mixamo, you know, it's not called Idle for some reason, a bit weird. Um, you have to make sure that the rig is actually humanoid. Um, it was actually set by uh, generic uh, by default. I had to change it to humanoid, which may be the reason why it looks so weird, but doesn't really matter um, if it's a generic file um, you can't change these values that's the whole problem you can't change um, the root transformation so I really had to change them to um, to humanoid otherwise these options wouldn't appear now I haven't actually tried this out so I hope it doesn't fall through the ground too much um, well it's actually fine it's actually not bad, uh, just floating a bit, um, just a bit, yeah. So we'll need to change the floating, so it's a loop. Um, I'm gonna bake these. Now this looks the same as with the .nm files. Um, I'm sure this is too much. No idea really, I'm just gonna try and see if the floating disappears. If he sticks in the ground a bit, I mean, it's it's fine. You know, your animations will be different anyway, so it will be a different value. But yeah, as you can see, floating, gone, great, beautiful. Now, next thing we need to do is uh, curves. Now, this is a bit um, different um, as with the .nm file. Um, you need to add them manually. Now. On the documentation website of Game Creator, it actually gives these names, so it actually shows you what you need to do. Now, these are the names. We need to, you know, change them to one as well. There we go. And add a second one, which is right. Now, these names need to be exactly right. Um, that's what it states on the documentation, anyway. Haven't tried out what happens when the name is slightly different. Um, I'm not gonna. But there we go. So, yeah, one, one. Gonna hit apply. Now, considering I don't use these files, I'm, I really hope this is gonna work. Um, but yeah, it works on. That's really nice. Sounded a bit more surprised than I should have, most likely. But yeah, it works um, with this as well. Awesome. So that's it. That's all you really have to do. Um, it's just a couple of uh, changes you need to implement. Um, yeah, I you know I struggled. I, I couldn't figure it out. Um, luckily, uh, the developer for Game Creator helped me with that. So really happy there. Um, but in the end, it's you know it's really simple. Um, it's just a couple of changes. Now you will need to do the same with walking, running. Obviously, all of your custom animations need this. And again, I'd like to specify it has nothing to do with the actual character, um, as long as the character obviously is a properly set up humanoid rig. Um, but you know, as long as it's a normal humanoid character, 
uh, it doesn't matter it's all about the animations and that's the most important part so a couple of extra steps just to make sure it actually uses foot IK properly so that's it hope you enjoyed this and if you did please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time